I'm Deborah Myberg, and I'm with Leon Bester of Napier Winery yes. uh, from Wellington, South Africa. Uh, Wellington is such a trendy region from South Africa. What makes it so special? I think the, the biggest thing of Wellington is the diversity. Um, there's a lot of different soils, um, which gives us the diversity to play around with different cultivars. It's also the growing area of all the vines in South Africa. So that makes it more diverse, I think. Um, okay, so lots of different vines. And how do you classify the climate there? The climate is more Mediterranean. Uh, we've got hot summers, cold winters. Um, so we, we can play around with different aspects of, of wines on different hills and slopes, which mm -hmm. makes it more interesting. So is there a trend to plant higher up the slopes to capture yes. the coolness? Yes, so uh, the more higher production vineyards will be planted on the lower lying valleys and then on the higher areas we will plant the more, um, more uh, lower yielding um, varieties with more quality grapes in, in consideration. So your red medallion has been named uh, the La Tour <laughs> of South Africa. Where are those vines planted? It's, it's quite high up on Bainskloof, which is uh, the, the road that goes over the mountains to the Bredekloof. Um, so all the varieties, uh, the five Bordeaux varieties, is planted on the hills there. And uh, in terms of your style, I think it's been considered quite old world. Yes. Uh, what makes it seem closer to a European style of winemaking compared to full-flavored contemporary winemaking? I think I, um, we took the decision in the beginning to make more old world style wines. Um, and with that we uh, gone through a process where we uh, will handle the grapes in the cellar a certain way and keep it in the cellar and in barrel for 18 to 24 months. But then also age the wine in the bottle for another two years in the cellar. Um, so we will release our top wine, like the Red Medallion, only four or five years after production, after the vintage year. Mm. Which, if you make the wine in that style, it is more old world style and not the fresh and fruity new world styles that is out there now. You know, when we mm. were studying for exams, when we couldn't figure out which origin a wine was from, we'd say, well, it's not quite old world, <laughs> too ripe, not quite <laughs> new world, must be South Africa. Do you think that's an accurate assessment in general of South Africa? I think the diversity of the whole of South Africa gives us that ability mm. that we can make um, very nice and easy drinking New World style wines, but also very high priced, full fat style wines. Mm. So I think the whole diversity with the climate of South Africa and the, all the different aspects of the area gives us that ability to do that. And uh, I've been going to South Africa for years, I love it, but I really noticed a huge transition in the, in the last few years with cleaning up the, the barrel rooms mm. and mm. getting the virus out of the, the vineyards. Can you speak about that a little bit? Yeah, I think there's a big movement uh, um, with South Africa being internationally now um, accessible to everybody and, and us to the world. Um, there's a lot of technology that can to us and I think a lot of the winemakers and the owners are focused on cleaning up, doing the right things and because the international wine market is so competitive, we have to do it. Um, so there's a lot of focus on quality um, and preciseness in, in the whole process. Well, I've never seen the wines look better, so <laughs> I look forward to trying yours in a few minutes. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks very much.